All right, sound check, sound check. Um, video is starting in three, two, one. All right, hello everyone. Today I will be teaching you about the cell cycle. So here is a quick overview of the cell cycle, and we're going to be going into detail into each section of the cell cycle. So we're going to start with G1. And in G1, the cell grows and develops. So here on the left, we see an animal cell growing and developing. And on the right, we see the same with a plant cell. And despite all the growing that occurs in G1, the G actually stands for gap and not grow. And the gap is referring to the gap before the next section in the cell cycle. After G1 is complete, the cell cycle continues into S phase. And in S phase, the DNA in the cell duplicates. So again, left animal, right plant cell. The DNA, after it goes through S phase, there's two sets of it, and of course the same in the plant cell. And after S phase is complete, the cell cycle goes into gap 2, or G2. And in G2, the cells prepare for mitosis to occur. And during that preparation, the cells must be checked to make sure that they did S phase correctly. So here we can see the animal cell has been checked correctly, as well as the plant cell. And that means that they've done S phase correctly. But let's say, for example, that the plant cell did not pass G2, and it did not complete S phase correctly. In that case, we get this here, which is not a white wood eraser, but in fact, apoptosis. We get apoptosis here, and we just... <coughs> don't worry about it. Anyway, and that leads us to the end of interphase and into the beginning of cell division or M phase, which begins with mitosis. So, in mitosis, there are four main phases, which are prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, in that order. So let's start with the first one, prophase. Here we have an animal cell on the left before prophase and one on the right after prophase. So we can see here the nucleus before prophase is still condensed and we cannot see inside the nucleus. After prophase though, the nuclear envelope has dissolved and we can see inside two chromosomes. These chromosomes are made up of two identical chromatids here connected by this green dot, the centromere. Also, in prophase, we can see these two things begin to form, and these green lines demonstrate the centrioles. And the centrioles are these points of origin in which the spindle fibers come out of. And those spindle fibers will be useful in the next phases of mitosis. So in the next phase of mitosis, metaphase, we can see a cell before and after metaphase. We can see a lot happens as well. One of the main things that happens is the chromosomes revealed at the end of prophase line up in the center of the cell, and those spindle fibers from prophase attach to each end of the centromere. Now hold on, all right, before anaphase can start, we need to make another check with apoptosis. We must check that the spindle fibers have correctly attached to each of the chromosomes. Well, it seems like you made it this time. Anyway, let's continue. After the spindle fibers have been checked, they pull apart the chromosomes lined in the center of the cell, and each side of the cell has half of each chromosome. After that, the last phase of mitosis begins, telophase, and in that phase, these chromatids are condensed into two nuclei on each side of the cell, and we can see here this cleavage furrow beginning to form part of the next section 
of cell division. Now, around the end of mitosis, cytokinesis begins, and in cytokinesis, the cell membrane and the cytoplasm of the cell divide. So we already saw a bit of this in the end of telophase. The cleavage furrow begins to form and two cells are pinched apart. That's what happens in animal cells. However, because plant cells are much more rigid, they form what is called a cell plate, and that helps them divide into two new daughter cells. And here we have the sports ball visual diagram. Before G1, after G1, after S, after G2, after prophase, after metaphase, after anaphase, after telophase, after cytokinesis. And that was the sports ball diagram. And now that cytokinesis is over, M phase ends, and with the two new daughter cells, interphase begins for each of them. That is the cell cycle.